Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016, and there's this news story, Emirates plane crash lands at Dubai Airport. Well, see it says crash right there? Well, it's just like you have Crash Bandicoot. <clears throat> this plane even represents just like the plane in 9-11. You even see the 11 minutes ago there for 9-11. <clears throat> and then it says two hours ago. Which basically represents Revelation 2 and Revelation 22. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, basically it says Trump hits back at disastrous Obama. This is to make out that they're enemies, when in actual fact they're all part of the same beast rising. Like, <clears throat> here it says North Korea fires ballistic missile into Japanese waters. Again, this represents obviously North Korea rising up and such, just as the Grok always goes on about. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so essentially, right, um, there was even a like a documentary about North Korea on BBC One when they actually kicked out this journalist guy out of their country because apparently he was like insulting Kim Jong-un or something. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just going to make North Korea even more angry. And that, 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 that's the whole point I'm trying to get across here. Like they just instigate these things because they want violence to spread across the world. Because it's already started happening. With all of the shootings and everything. <clears throat> so yeah. Like. Here it says. Activision battles to fix Marvel Ultimate Alliance's troubled ports. This represents that we're in the nearing the time of Jacob's trouble. Now. <clears throat> Basically, right, the reason that they want to remaster the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon games is because so that they can show even more symbolism of, of stuff coming about the end times. Like, there's there's even rumours that they're going to do, like, new game, like, brand new games of these as well. And Spyro actually represents when the dragon comes after this woman. See the woman right there? She she could even represent that Bianca character in um, Spy, right? <clears throat> and obviously, Crash Bandicoot actually represents the end of the time of the dog and the end of the time of grace and mercy. And the fact that you need a dog to get into heaven. Because, like, I mean... <clears throat> Like, a bandicoot is basically similar to a dog. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but still. <clears throat> like, see the blue shorts that he's wearing for Jesus Christ? And then, you see that he has orange skin. And red shoes. Now the red shoes represent Satan. But orange is similar to red. So that also represents Satan. But um, this actually represents blending the iron with the clay. Blending the light with the dark. Bl blending the good with the bad. Because you see it's, it says like developers naughty dog. Again representing the end of the time of the dog and such. <clears throat> So yeah, I mean, here we have Revelation 9, when the fifth angel gets ready to sound this fifth trumpet, and this happens when, when the end of days comes. This is the fifth angel right here, this guy looking like a clown, <clears throat> and he brings this idol worship, <clears throat> and he even makes the dead rise and such. <clears throat> So yeah, just know this. Know that it, that it's right in front of you <clears throat> all day long. The symbolism of this stuff that's going to happen. <clears throat> like, 
let's even look at this Marvel Ultimate Alliance game right here. <clears throat> so this is in a place called Atalan. Now, this is a fictional location. But basically, this could, this could even represent just like Atlantis. I mean, Atlantis is even an actual location in this game as well. Like, <clears throat> I mean, th these blue guys could actually represent the Christians. Whereas this green person could represent Islam. Like, <clears throat> You see here, blending the iron with the clay, blending the light with the dark, blending the good with the bad, again. Because you have the blue for Captain America, but you have the red for Deadpool right there. So, even Black Bolt represents just like Black Panther, just like your Obama-type character. <clears throat> and the fact that he sat on this throne represents how powerful he is. Just like Obama is really powerful because he's the president and everything. But probably not as powerful as some people are led to believe. Because most people think that Obama is the most powerful man in the world because he's the president of the United States. But that's not exactly true. Because the Illuminati and Freemasons are above him pulling his puppet strings. So yeah, like, him sat on this throne here... Black Bolt, right? That actually represents Obama being in the middle of all of these. Because he's like, almost like the boss of all of these. <clears throat> <clears throat> so all, all of these people are underneath Obama. But, but Obama is underneath the Illuminati and Freemasons. That's the best way to basically explain it. Like, <clears throat> like you see these symbols on the floor right here? I mean, they, they could even be traced back to Egyptian hieroglyphs. Like, there may be some Egyptian hieroglyphs that are exactly the same as this. Or there could be ones that are similar to these ones. But do your research and check that out for yourself if you're that interested in it. But, um, I mean, I mean, th this, this thing here even looks like electric or lightning or something. And, um, it says that Satan will fool us lightning. Like, this could even be to do with, like, Thor and Electro and people like that. Notice this is a Marvel game as well, which is basically the franchise that Thor and Electro are in. <clears throat> like, ba basically, right, this thing here looks like an arch or a door. Could represent the door that we have to go through with Jesus Christ to get into heaven. <clears throat> <clears throat> and obviously, you can see the Illuminati pyramids right there. That's kind of obvious. <clears throat> This this thing, right, this could represent just like the Jedi Council in Star Wars, because you see how they're all sat on, like, seats in a circle. <clears throat> could even represent, like, the Will of the Great Tribulation that looks like a circle. <clears throat> I mean... <clears throat> I'm not sure what happened there. Right, anyway... Right, you see this song by the Carpenters calling occupants of interplanetary crafts. Right, we are led to believe that Joseph in the Bible was a carpenter. And if I remember rightly, Jesus becomes a carpenter as well. So, notice it says album, passage. Well, this represents quite a lot of things, actually. Because it meant... It represents just like there are passages in the Bible. But it represents just like our passage to heaven. Like us passing over and such. <clears throat> because, right? I mean, th this this song actually represents aliens coming. Like, like with 
like with this UFO and everything right here. <clears throat> because it, some of the lyrics go, We have been observing your Earth and we like to make contact with you. This, this, those lyrics could actually be true. Aliens could really be observing us. <clears throat> like, so, see, see, it mentions like telepath messages and stuff, just like Professor Xavier and Jean Grey and and people like that in the X Men are like basically telepaths. And um, <clears throat> and it says, please close your eyes and concentrate. So basically, right, the the. See, see, it's got to do with eyes again, just like the Eye of Horus and such. <clears throat> so, yeah, just know this. Like, <clears throat> even, like, the videos that I've done in the past about, like, the Pallades and such. <clears throat> and all of that business about, like, Gigi Young and stuff has, has got to do with this as well. <clears throat> and, um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. And I'll see you all at the Wedding Feast of the Lamb. And... Keep faith in Jesus Christ. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. So let's uh, just take one last look at this, right? It says, it says crash lands. Just like the dollar is crashing here. We'll zoom in so you can see this better. <clears throat> see the dollar crash in? That's what it represents, that thing right there. And it's a type of panic that is coming. Like, so the best thing to do is not panic. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yeah, see Angela Merkel's doing a pyramid right there. And. Obviously, you see the pyramids right there. Represents the same thing. Actually, I'm not sure if she's called Angela Mikel or Angela Merkel. I might have been saying her name wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> you see this eye right here? This actually represents the eye of Horus. See the moon for Islam right there? See it, see it again right there. See the pyramids as well. Just like Illuminati pyramids. This actually, I mean, like, this is supposed to be a world that is, that is, in, outer, out, that is in outer space, this Atalan place. So... I don't understand why they've got things that are to do with Egyptians. Unless this is actually symbolism. I mean, I can't think of any other reason for it. Like, so, like this, this, like, pupil thing here actually represents, like, the Wheel of the Great Tribulation. Like, See, it says 24 right there. Can you see that? Just like the 42 months and everything. Just like that Doctor Who episode 42. 42 months in the Bible. Check it out. <clears throat> this could even be to do with like blending the religions together and such. And blending science and religion together. <clears throat> in this game, they even have like... This book about apocalypse, <clears throat> um, in the Atalan location, and the book is on a pedestal, and obviously, like that apocalypse character has got to do with Egypt because he originated from Egypt and such. This has probably got to do with the time of the crossing, when we go into outer space and come out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. 